Well, um, on the issue of uh, the uh, NWT, JEE, and other competitive exams, which have been uh, due earlier but had to be postponed, and was to be, is to be uh, now commenced on Monday. The climate uh, has not changed, which originally caused the postponement. In fact, in some ways, it's got worse because uh, corona incidents have risen uh, much more, and now it's uh, in heading towards the 3 million mark. And in one particular day, uh, we have had no more cases than any other country in the world, including the United States. So consequently, I would say that uh, the circumstances have not changed, and therefore I don't see how you can uh, decide to have an examination when in these uh, uh, circumstances. Uh, for example, the exam centers are far away from people. They take Bombay, city of Bombay. Well, uh, a lot of complaints have come to me. Uh, people living in Kalyan and Thane will have to go to into the city and uh, and uh, sometimes you have to travel 20 kilometers, 30 kilometers. There's no public transportation. All the trains, people have got used to uh, the, uh, the 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 trains uh, 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 that, that uh, Bombay people use every morning to go to work and come back in the evening from, uh, to the suburbs. Uh, so, uh, uh, there, therefore, uh, when there is uh, no public, uh, 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 you know, travel uh, provisions, how do you expect uh, middle class, lower middle class, poor students to make it? And then what happens if they uh, go to a crowded uh, examination center, come back with the, with the corona infection, and then give it to uh, their old parents or their grandparents, uh, who are much more susceptible to mortality from uh, corona than the younger generation. So uh, this is the uh, third second. Third thing is that people have operated under very adverse circumstances, uh, such as um, uh, the uh, floods in Assam and so many others, uh, uh, Orissa and so on. And how do you expect them to reach? And are the local people ready for it? I have talked to many of the local people. They say we have got only makeshift arrangements. And uh, in these circumstances, they are going to carry their pen, papers, uh, uh, etc. And, uh, and uh, what happens if it rains on the way? What happens uh, if they don't have a waterproof bag to carry all this? Uh, so, uh, they, they, you know, there uh, uh, is so much tension now that already 20 people have committed suicide. And if this crucial life uh, make or break uh, exam, they are not able to perform their entire careers ruined, and even that tension will lead to a lot of people who will have committed suicide. There will be a, almost an epidemic of suicides of young people. I mean, it will be a ghastly shame. What is the big thing? I mean, post uh, put it after November because I think uh, now uh, towards the end of this month, the peak for corona virus uh, uh, incidents will go to, uh, will be reached, and therefore I should expect uh, by end of October. Uh, that the whole thing will be in a, um, you know, in a much less and most of the uh, normal life would have been restored. So, all right, then put it in uh, November. I don't see uh, what the difficulty is because already the term which was to start in July couldn't start. So, uh, 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 six months, uh, if there is a war tomorrow, you have to uh, anyway we'll close down these schools. Uh, so. Uh, uh, these are extraordinary circumstances for which the government must show flexibility. And I am surprised uh, why this uh, flexibility has not been shown. What did the Supreme Court say? They haven't put any ban on you. They, 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 uh, they, uh, the Supreme Court said this is a policy decision of the government. The government can take whatever decision it wants. We'll stand by it. And so the, tomorrow the government decides to change. The Supreme Court is not going to say contempt of court. There is no order saying, no, you have to hold the exam of the Supreme Court. This is a false propagation that has been done. And there is a lobby. I know that lobby, which uh, which I don't want to name just now because I need more proof. 
but I do know this much that uh, I mean I'm convinced that there's a lobby which is because a very high functionary of the government told me I'm under heavy pressure from this lobby so I'm so grateful that you have come please see that you write a letter to the Prime Minister which I've written I've written a very strong letter to the Prime Minister uh, telling him of the of these consequences so I think uh, uh, there has been a meeting in the uh, education ministry today and I'm hoping that a favorable decision for the students will be taken so that they can, uh, uh, you, uh, you know, have a better, <coughs> better period for uh, studying because the, after Corona, everything was disrupted. Even studying with a peace of mind was difficult for students. And I think I strongly, strongly recommend, as I recommended to my letter to the Prime Minister, that, uh, you know, in the, in the balance of conveniences, it should be postponed. And I'm expecting it will be postponed.